Hello and good afternoon. I am Alexander Nicholas. I'm a program officer at the Lemelson Foundation where I'm managing the foundation's higher education work. In a moment, I want to introduce you to three inventors who are doing amazing work. Now, I would like to introduce, introduce um, Luke Pinkerton. Luke is from Helix Steel. Luke is a former E-team participant with VentureWell. When Luke is finished speaking, Alexander Richter from North Carolina State University will be presenting. Alexander is the current Lemelson MIT Student Prize winner. And when Alexander's finished, Jay Harmon from PAC Scientific will be presenting. Jay is currently a Lemelson AAAS Invention Ambassador. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. Thank you. I, I, I just want to start by just thanking uh, Lemelson and uh, VentureWell for really uh, putting me in a position to talk today. I'm going to just introduce myself by saying um, I was a student, like some of these younger people uh, on the stage earlier, and it was just really exciting to see their passion and their interest in what they're doing. And my message is, is there is, there's a very, there's a huge reward if you stick with it, but it takes a lot of dedication and, and uh, a lot of work to get there. So uh, um, as I said, I was a student at the University of Michigan. Uh, I had a technology. This is a technology that at the time uh, we considered uh, impact engineering or impact inventing. Um, we didn't really have the idea of going and changing you know, the, the world or impacting third world areas with this technology, although I'll, I'll tell you in a little bit how that has kind of come full circle and we're really starting to see the technology being implemented in things like housing and things like that all over the world. So the technology itself is called Helix Steel and uh, it, it's a twisted metal piece of reinforcement that you actually mix with the concrete. It's hard for me to show you here. Um, my, the best thing that I can do is ask you to take a look at it. I've got little bags of it outside. But the idea is, is that concrete's very brittle. Um, even if you put a bunch of uh, steel reinforcement in it, like you see in that picture, uh, and you expose it to some kind of blast like that, it, it shatters because it's brittle. If you put this helix reinforcement product in and uh, do the same thing, it, it makes the concrete more flexible, makes it stronger, makes it more durable. So uh, people have done things like this with concrete within academia, but the cost was never, the economics was never really considered. Uh, you can do things like this by adding a lot of cost. The unique thing about this is the helix reinforced piece here was actually less expensive than the rebar one to make and faster to make. So obviously, as a student back in the mid-1990s, I said, oh, wow, this is a billion-dollar industry, and here's an opportunity. If I just get a little snippet of it, um, we'll, we'll, we'll be in, big, in, in business. So uh, it's been 13 years since we commercialized this technology. And at this point, uh, we're really in uh, more of a global expansion phase, which is really fun. Um, the product is used for all kinds of applications. The blast-resistant piece is a very small aspect of what we do. Um, everything from um, you know, public infrastructure to commercial construction. Uh, but what's been really cool about it is I've got to travel the world and really see the impact of this in terms of you know, things like housing, which aren't a big dollar sales opportunity for us, but we, we've gotten involved. Uh, people have come to us because they see what the technology can do and how it can be deployed in remote areas where it's hard to get that rebar into the site to build. So uh, we've got projects going on in Mauritius and, um, you know, Kenya and areas where it's just hard to get rebar in. Uh, where we've been able to uh, deploy the technology and save time and money in construction, uh, as well as provide a really good, a stronger, safer, more hurricane-resistant type structures to you know, the end user, the people that are ultimately using and living in the, in the buildings. So uh, I definitely thank everyone for uh, their attention and look forward to talking to you more about it out in the uh, exhibit area. 